Hey everybody, Monkey Wrench Mike here. We are back doing what we do best. Got a little tie dye going on right there. But, yep, time to work on a car as it sits in the car hauler. Mike. Mike. Yay! I'm in the car. Got all my staples. Yep, I got tools. Got a Coca Cola and lots of jacks. We're jacking this baby to the sky. Okay, so this is what's going on. Here she is in all of her glory. This is my new to me S55 AMG. But just like this. Missing some parts. Hallelujah. Yeah. Missing lots of parts, but I got it for this much money. Then I have to pay this much money for the title. Then I had to get a new key for this much money. So I'm into the car right now for this much money. And then because of that right there, yep, we had to add this much money. So our grand total before we can even try to start it is this much money. <laughs> I can't do it. I can't take it. Yeah. Okay. So here we go. You can see the issue. I can't get it off the dolly, the car hauler. I don't know why I call these dollies. Anyway, I cannot get it off the car hauler until we can get this wheel going like that wheel. Okay. So the issue once again, and I've purchased so many cars like this, is this. We seem to have a broken tie rod. Okay. This is your outer. This part is supposed to connect right there. So I have inner and outer issues and I don't think I can get this off. So I went ahead and I bought an inner and an outer tie rod and believe it or not, O'Reilly's has come through. They have more Mercedes parts than I ever thought. I think even more than Napa or AutoZone, okay? Cause these guys had it in stock, ready to go for me for that amount of money. So what we're gonna do right now is we're gonna remove the inner and the outer tie rod, hopefully put the new ones on, straighten up the wheels, put some air in some wheels, hopefully, hopefully try to give her a start. And I just saw that. Yeah, that's hanging down. That's supposed to be connected. That's not good. <laughs> oh, I'm gonna cry. Yeah, that's part of the uh, ABC system, I think, right there, which I just gotta tell you, love to work on them. Yep, they're so much fun. Okay, so back to the tie rods. We're gonna take this off right here. This is the cover. There's just a big, uh, you can get a big wrench. I don't remember what size, but I'll show you. And just turn that thing. And then to get this tie rod off, just like you do every other tie rod right here, you just undo this right here and give it a whack and it'll come out, okay? Yeah, I can't save it because I can't get this out of the end. Let's give it a shot. You ready? You ready to have some fun? Yeah, me too. Here we go. was much easier than anticipated. Of course, you have to give this guy a good whack right here. And then the tie rod just kind of goes flying across the driveway. Okay, so here's what's going on. This is the original. This is the replacement for some reason. I don't think it looks like the other one. I don't. But I have to use it because I have to get this thing off of the trailer. So I don't have a choice, okay? This looks just like this. So that's okay, it's just that one. Okay, but I did get to use my favorite tool. Look how giant this thing is. This is a 41 millimeter wrench. The old Tecton 41mm, double M, monkey mic. Yeah, anyway, it attaches right there. And that made it so easy to get that off. Okay, super, super easy. So all we're gonna do is put these on. This is where it goes right there. Okay, then we're gonna put the boot on, then we'll put the tie rod on, and then we'll just kind of give it our best straightening eyeball shot. I keep looking at this car, I find more things wrong with it. But that happens every time I get a car, every single time. Okay, um, we'll give it our best shot to get it straight. And then I'm going to hope that there is oil in the car and there's a battery in the back. And we'll just kind of take it from there. All right, let's get these on and then we will proceed. All 
All right, partial success, okay? That wheel's kind of going that way. This wheel is kind of going the same way. We got the tie rods in, inner and outer. Now I had to fish down here to get this, the oil dipstick, because it was stuck all the way down in there. But I want to show you something. This is not, not something pleasant to look at. <laughs> yeah, look at that. What is that? That's like flesh. I don't even know what that is. Okay, I think we may have a head gasket leak. Look at that. That is like grow tea, grow to the tea. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna clean this off and I'm gonna pour some oil in here just so she has some that's not like that. And then we're gonna try to back her off of here if she starts, if, if she starts. We got all kinds of clogged lines. Look at that. Yeah, okay. So we're just gonna try to give her a start. Let's see if there's a battery in there and if not, we'll just add one. Okay. All right, we're at the back of the car. Yeah, once again, S55, AMG baby. But I had no battery. There was no battery. I did have a spare, which is over there. There was no battery down there. So I borrowed one <clears throat> from another car. And we're gonna see what happens when I give her a little start, okay? We got the battery connected. We got the ramps ready to go. Hopefully she'll come off. All right, let's see what happens. Cross your fingers. Okay, I'm on like 10%, okay? So we're just gonna see what happens real quick. Um, this is the first time I'm in the car, so that's lovely. I got seats. It's really dusty. What does it smell like? I don't know. Oh, okay, here we go. This says 100,000 miles. Wouldn't that be lovely? Okay, what's happening? We're gonna turn the key. Okay, things are coming alive. Things are coming alive. Let's see what happens. Oh, she wants to. She really wants to. Oh, don't be the battery. Please don't be the battery. I think it's the battery. All right, let me put on the little battery jumper and then we're, we're gonna back. try it again. Okay, let's see what happens. Battery, power pack activated. Come on. I know you want to. I know you really want to. Oh. Come on. Let's do this. I didn't even check to see if there's any computers or anything missing. I just didn't. Come on. Okay, this is gonna get fun. Too lazy to walk back and see if I have a screwdriver, okay? There's your fuel rail right there. Let's just see what happens when I stick a stick in it. We're sticking a stick. Oh. There's not a whole lot of uh, fuel coming out. Let's see. Hello. Could that be? Usually it goes but I got nothing. So apparently the fuel pump isn't coming on. So let's research the fuel pump relay. Let's do some research. Well, maybe you know where I am. Yep, take a look. I made a little fort right here. Yep, I'm under the U-Haul, under the S55 and I'm messing around with the fuel pump. Okay, so I have checked the relay, I have jumpered the relay, I have done everything I can, and I just can't get any fuel going to the engine. So what we're gonna do is replace one fuel pump 
and one filter okay I got a brand new filter and I went to the junkyard and I got a fuel pump right there see right there there he is he came out of a grandma's car 99 e320 exact same fuel pump so what we're gonna do we're gonna replace this we're gonna replace this we're gonna cross our fingers and see if she's gonna start okay how about some music we're back the neighbor just came to check on me super nice guy named mark so um <laughs> we have the new air uh, air filter new fuel filter installed we have the new to me gas filter almost installed and i just decided i'm going to drain whatever's at the bottom of the tank i did put some gas in the tank uh when i was dragging the car home but i'm just going to drain what's at the bottom for a little bit and then we're going to plug it all back and we're gonna give it a shot. We're gonna see what's gonna happen, okay? Let's have some fun, let's do that. Let me show you what's coming out of the tank right here. Okay, you wanna see how much fun this is? Yeah, look at that, look at the color. That's a good vintage right there. Oh my goodness gracious. Yeah, buddy. That is some gross stuff. At least it's still moving. Okay, we're getting a little bit clearer. A little clearer. Because that was brown and gross at first. Now that looks pretty good. That looks doable. All right, good job. We're back where we started about seven hours ago or six or five but we have a new fuel pump okay we have a fuel filter and we have renewed faith we also have a battery with a little jumper on it to make it a little more powerful you ready hail mary full of grace dominus dabisco please 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 man above help this little girl to start okay I don't think I hear the fuel pump, but let's see here. Maybe it did. Oh, 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 hello. Hello, come on. She's alive. Oh my goodness. She's alive. Let's get her off this thing real quick. There's no brakes. There are no brakes. Okay, let's just kind of see what happens. Oh, the, she's lifting. Oh, oh. <laughs> Look at that. She is alive and I'm actually backing her up. Oh my goodness, and I just hit the back gate. <laughs> Look at that. Hello. Hello. Can I get out? Kind of. Okay, we're going to go back and forth until I can get out of the car. Okay, let's go this way. back it up and go this away some more 
Look at that. Okay. That's good. That's good. She's alive. Let the reconstruction process begin. We're fixing the face. Not this one. This one needs it, but it's too old. This one, not too old. I think she's savable. I really do think that she is savable. So what do we work on first, boys and girls and ladies and, and gentlemen? What should it be? Um, I need to find the parts for it, but I need to find what's wrong with the engine first. So give me some guidance. What should I do first? I gotta get the wheels off too. So if you know what's gonna fit those wheels, those are weird, weird lug nuts. Please let me know about that. But there she is. There's my nice little AMG. Got to come up with a name for her. All right, everybody. Thank you for watching. I hope this is the video. I hope this is the car that puts me into the 20,000 subscriber range. Okay, I'm about uh, 14,000. I'm hoping that this one will kind of take off and go viral because these you don't see very often. Um, it's not the supercharged version. Those rarely come up at auctions. I just saw this at the Copart and I had to have it. Saw it in the window and I had to have it. So please like, please subscribe, please share if you know somebody who wants to follow along on this AMG journey. This really, really dirty AMG journey, then please let them know about Mike Your Wrench Mike, okay? Thanks for watching everybody. We'll see you again very, very soon. Lola says goodbye too, right? Yeah, she says bye. Okay, bye everybody.